everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Colossians 3 verses 5 and 6, as well as Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 1. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word. Thank you for its simplicity and its complexity. <laughs> we love you. We praise you. We know that we can never wrap our mind around even the smallest piddle from you, Lord God. But help our minds still to be open and let your word be revealed in us. We love you. We praise you. Who is like you, Lord God? Who do we have in heaven but you? We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, let's get started. Colossians chapter three, verse five and six. So I was a little bit surprised at these script, this scripture completion, but you'll see why. Um, verse five, put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Verse six, on account of these things, the wrath of God is coming. So we're going to go to the next, oops, the next verse, uh, Colossians three, verse five. I'm sorry, I skipped it. Okay, De Deuteronomy 12, verse one. These are the statutes and rules that you shall be careful to do in the land of the Lord the God of your fathers has given you to possess all the days that you live on the earth. All right. That was a little bit hard to say. All right. So the reason why I weren't read both of them, it's because they almost both sound like the law, right? They almost sound as if um, they're both preaching the law that you need to follow the law, but the, and the conflation is, the law in this right but it's it's a little bit different so deuteronomy 12 it's saying these statutes and rules that you shall be careful to do in the land of the lord the god of your fathers has given you to possess all the days you live on this earth so this is the law that was given by moses right and the people were to follow it and it was a harsh taskmaster it was hard to do right there were 600 and 13 rules in the law right and 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 if they wanted to walk uprightly and they wanted to possess the land they needed to walk in those ways and they needed to do burnt offerings if they weren't you know pleasing in God's sight if they had sinned and so he's saying that uh, you they needed to be careful to do those things in the land of the Lord in order to walk out um and and have and possess what the Lord wanted them to have and possess on the earth. All right. So the other scripture is Colossians three. It says put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry on account of these, the wrath of God is coming. And so this is actually the new Testament, right? It is Colossians. So um, this is talking about putting away the old man, right? So the law was always trying to whip the man into subjection, right? Whip the man <laughs> into um, doing the right thing, right? But here there's a death that comes to the old man, right? And we are to put off the old man. When we get baptized, we um, it's symbolic of a death, burial, and resurrection. We're burying the old man and there's a new man that is coming out, right? And so in Colossians, it's saying, put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you. So if there's something in you that is not right, that might have some sexual immorality attached to it, right? Um, many people get addicted to masturbation and pornography and they it ruins their future relationships right their ability to see spouses um properly their ability to relate to people um so they have sexual immorality in their hearts 
or um, even if they're single and they're trying to live a safe single life, um, maybe they've done something wrong and um, sin wise and and the, it's hard for them to put away those thoughts maybe or something like that. God can send deliverance, right? But we need to put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you. And that's sexual immorality, um, impurity, um, doing things that are not of God, right? That God um, considers a stench in his nostrils, um, being in certain places, being around certain items and things and having things in your house that are not of God, right? Those are um, impure and, and God does not want you to be a part of it. This is the New Testament, right? This is not talking about the law. This is just talking about putting a way the ways of the old man so passion um and this is not a passion of god like a zeal or anything this is passion um as it relates to our bodies and and our desires this is evil desire is the next one so desires that are not of god desires that are unholy that this world says is a standard to live by and that it's okay you're just expressing yourself or or this is normal this is a part of human nature and da, 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 da. no these are ways of the world and god is saying put away passion put away evil desire and and if you if you're the type of person that's like oh my goodness i could never like how do i do that how would i ever get control of such a thing the Holy Spirit can help you. God can help you, but you need to take everything and present it before the Lord so that he can put to death that old man. He can wash you clean. He can show you how to walk uprightly using the Holy Spirit and, and being led out of those things. He, he's going to provide you a way of escape out of those temptations. And it says, and covetousness, you have to resist these things, covetousness, um, seeing things and desiring things that are not yours right? Always wanting more, always wanting something else. We all can sometimes be guilty of this. Lord Jesus, forgive us of our sins. Um, but, but always looking at someone else and saying, Oh, I want that. Oh my goodness. My neighbor, <laughs> I love them. They got a, um, a RV and I've always wanted an RV and I'm walking around this thing and loving it. Like, Oh my goodness, I want this. But I had to check myself. Like it's okay to desire an RV, but to covet something that belongs to someone else. Mm -mm, that's not right. Make sure that your desire is not leaning on covetousness, wanting what they have, right? It's okay to want what you want, but don't, don't want too much. First of all, just, just be thankful for what you have. Let God know your request, let your request be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. He going, he's going to give you what you need. And he's going to give you a little bit more, but don't worry about other people's stuff. That's their stuff. Let them have their stuff. You don't, that's not your stuff. So covetousness, which is idolatry. Yes, putting it up and, and basically having it as a worship item, right? You're um, investing your time, your talent, your um, money into things that are not of God, things that are that are trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to be like them, trying to be them, right? That's covetousness, and which is idolatry. Verse six, on account of these things, the wrath of God is coming. The fact that he gave that as the actual scripture conflation and then told me I could do verse five, but six is the actual scripture of emphasis. Six on account of these things, the wrath of God is coming. Jesus's wrath is about to be poured out. Well, it's God's wrath and Jesus is applying it um, according to the book of Revelation, but the wrath of God is coming because of these types of things, because of these things in the world. Jesus was our way out. He was our way of putting away the old man. He was our way of atonement of sins. He was our way to receive the Holy Spirit as our guide. And, and yet many people just don't choose him. They say no, they reject him and they continue to walk in darkness, walking in sexual immorality, impurity passion, evil desires, covetousness, which is idolatry. All of those things are things that people 
people are walking around in every single day. And, and because of that, God's wrath is coming, right? You no, know, we don't have to fulfill and, and go by the 613 things of the law, but we do need to put away the old man. We do need to abide in Christ. Stay with him. Jesus fulfilled the law. He didn't come to get rid of the law. He fulfilled it. So we need to do our best to put away the old man and realize that there was a spirit behind the law that was not recognized. The spirit behind the law is what Christ came to put in us and lead us and guide us every single day. Forget the the 613. It's every day. It's in all things. His spirit leads and guides us into all things truth. So we need to put to death, therefore, what is earthly in us, right? We need to let that old man pass away and we need to take up the cross of God and, and walk forward in him, abiding in him as his children and heirs in his kingdom. All right, you guys, let's just read it all together because it's not a lot. Um, Colossians chapter three, verse five, put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry on account of these, the wrath of God is coming. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse one, these are the statutes and the rules that you shall be careful to do in the land of that the Lord the God of your fathers has given you to possess all the days that you live on the earth. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we thank you that your spirit is real and it leads us every day. We ask you, Jesus, to help us put away the things of this world, put away these earthly passions and desires and 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 sexual immorality and um, covetousness, which is idolatry. Help us to put away that old man and take up the new man, Lord God, the one new man, Lord. We love you. We praise you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray amen all right you guys may the lord bless you and keep you may he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace take care